Hi there, Fire Catchers. This is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and we are back for another Fire Catchers chat. I'm really, really excited to talk to Roger Lanier. He is um, West Coast, just like me, a little bit further down the I-5, and, uh, and he's got an incredible story, and I can't wait for you to hear his story. Hi, Roger. Hello there, Andrea. <laughs> So tell me where where you're located and and why might we know where you are from? Okay, so I'm located in Vancouver, Washington. And the other Vancouver. <laughs> the other Vancouver, right, right. And I'm part of a of a church, and it's Bethesda House of Mercy Church, and uh, so so that's where I flag at. And who, so you actually, um, one of the other fire catchers is, uh, goes to that church. You want to tell us about that person? Yeah, that's Joseph Cavanaugh. And he is, my wife and I just had dinner over at his parents and his, his the other night. And my wife and I have kind of, kind of spiritually adopted him into our lives. So we love him. We love him like a son. That's so great because we love uh, we love Joseph so much in our group as well. He's he is just really taking with the flags um, as a young person and really elevating that his praise that way and bringing others into it. And so I love that you are fathering him. So mm -hmm. tell me, um, you shared a little bit of the story of your story about how you got to started with worship flags and that's why i wanted to have you on the fire catchers chat can you can you tell the the rest of our viewers what it is absolutely andrea so so my son had passed away isaiah he he was 26 he passed away and it was december 30th 2014 and it was just three years ago that um, I was at a prophetic conference and I, I saw this guy flagging and I thought I've, I've never seen a guy flagging. I see women flagging, but I've never seen a guy. So, you know, I went up to him and I just said, you know, um, I just want you to know that God thinks you're so amazing and so do I. Thank you for pouring your heart out for what you're doing for us this weekend because all of us leaders were up there. Well, then in that same conference, the last day of the conference, my son actually appeared to me, and, and he was already in heaven, <laughs> like he is now. But he appeared to me, Andrea, six feet away from me, and uh, the, the worship band and everything else just went quiet. And it was crazy. It was, it was, it was closed vision, but it was so real to me. And so my son appeared to me, and next to him was Jesus. He had his arm around Jesus, and there was an angel behind the two of them. My son looked right at me, and he said, Dad. He said, Dad. He said, when you look in the mirror, I see the Father. He's pouring his life through you and through Mom. And he said, too, he said that you are a spiritual dad and mom is a spiritual mom and you and mom are going to have all these people in your house and they are going to you're going to they're going to be spiritual children to you they're going to live there and andrea that's exactly what has happened the last three years <laughs> that's exactly what's happened so then at the end of that i i just um i landed on my knees and just in a puddle <laughs> i was just crying but i wasn't crying because i missed isaiah i was crying because this this wonderful vision that i just experienced was there and then my son said also he said dad you need to dance and then i asked i went back to the work to the dance team talked to the dance leader and I said, I have a heart for Jesus. I've loved Jesus 40 years. I, I, when I dance, I, I give off the fragrance of peace. And, and I, when, when I dance, trauma breaks off of people's lives, you know? And anyway, she said, great, just come on out. <laughs> so 56 years young, 
And there it is. There's the story. <laughs> Sorry, I so it actually teared me up I, when it teared yeah. me up when I uh, me read up it, <laughs> and it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful tribute. Can you, mm -hmm. um, can you tell us what what transformed when you actually started to use the worship flag? So you've been a you said you've been a believer for for. 40 years, loves Jesus, sold out for Jesus. Yep. But has, has there been a, a, a switch or, or something different that happened when you started using worship flags? Yes, because I've been, a, I've been a martial artist for Jesus for 12 years. And so I've, I've trained. I used to be a sport karate fighter, you know. I still do martial arts now. And my son used to train with me many years ago. But I did... I did the, the dance in martial arts, and then I was challenged by other friends to be part of be part of dance because it could be a crossover. So then, once I started, I started flagging Andrea, and I, immediately I had this. No matter how many people were out there, it's just the father and me, <laughs> you know. And it was just it was so. I mean, I, I, I started bawling at first because I didn't know. I thought, this is so, so new, Papa. But he said, son, this is where I have you right now. You know, and, and so the first time at church when I was doing that, I felt, boy, this feels really awkward. It's, it's like I want to kick and I want to punch in, in the air. And the, the Lord said, no, don't do that. But, you know, and so... It's just uh, free, free. I, I can't explain it. Just so freeing to me, Andrea. Like nothing I've ever experienced. So, and I, you know, I feel the joy of the Lord all over me. That was my first experience. That was three years ago. That's incredible. So, in your in your church, is there? I don't. Is, are you, is there a dance team or is it just freestyle? Anybody can use worship flags no, at any we'll time? Be, I'm sorry for interrupting. We have a, a dance team and there's like, uh, I, I'm kind of the papa of the team. So I'm the eldest, <laughs> but I love, I love these. I love these guys. I love, I love them all, you know, and, but um, we are, there's about, there's about a dozen of us. You know, and so we we just what we do when we meet in the mornings at the first half hour, we speak blessing over each other and we speak. We build each other up and we prophesy over each other. And then we go into then we go into the worship, you know, and so we're 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 one, even though there's 12 of us, we're we're one. There's something quite prophetic about that. There's twelve. There's twelve dancers, right? Oh, yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think of that, Andrea. That's so true. That's so true. Yeah. I think Absolutely. that's 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 really incredible. So, um, have you found have you found that just being um, that God actually had to deal with your with your heart and what you felt was awkward about being a, um, a man? and worshiping yeah, the flags yes absolutely and my but my wife my wife said she said honey you have and we've been married 21 years she said you have a spirit of david on your life and i said wow and she said just receive it and i just received it you know and you know and so yeah she's 60 she looks 35 <laughs> wow wow and was your and I, I mean I really love the fact that you that you, you saw it so clearly in a vision with your son Isaiah and Jesus and he was really commissioning you to dance with flags um can you what what do you feel like in the spirit is happening with this resurgence I call it a worship renaissance but how would you describe it yeah I would describe it as just, man, it's like, it, it's, 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 it's like something 
it's like, I don't know, I've never been pregnant, <laughs> but it's like having like spiritual keys that like for like, um, like birthing a, a spiritual baby, so to speak. It's, it's, it's like my, my, my level of freedom, if this makes sense, has has just i don't know it, it's 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 like it's just opened up this new this new level of freedom does that make sense in my life i don't know if i'm yeah for, for me it, it does and i really believe that that the fire catchers who have caught that mm -hmm. they know it's you you stay in your head just a little little bit because right. it's new and you're you don't know what to do with your with your yeah. body kind right. of um, right. But once you let go, it, mm -hmm. I remember for me, it was like as it opened up so much of the spirit. And even as I read the, the word of God, the Bible, right. after starting to flag, it was like as if I had never read it in my life before because wow. it just came to it. There was so much spirit in it um, that I had gotten through just revelation while flagging and so i think that there's a lot of fire catchers actually that understand that and relate to to you and what you've you've just you've just said well thank you can i say something else can i add something else to that please, please? So, so so when i'm on stage especially when i'm on stage i feel people's pain and i feel people's joy so so like one of my favorite songs believe it or not is is stephanie gretzinger we dance. So when I'm dancing, I'm actually acting like I'm dancing as I'm spinning around and it's Papa holding that young woman or that young man who didn't get held and dance with their, their, you know, their dad or, you know, especially because I'm a father figure to so many. And so, um, you know, just saying that, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's like, I can be in any position, Andrea, whether I'm on my face, whether I'm kneeling, and I'm comfortable on the stage. Because to me, it's not about the stage. Because for me, my relationship with Jesus is all about where I am when no one's around. Mm -hmm. So. So yeah, <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would agree. And worship is not, it's not Sunday morning. It's not on a stage. It's no. not off the stage. It's all of the time. Yes. Uh, and I, I mean, I truly have some of the greatest worship times outside of church when I'm outside. Uh, and, and that's where I kind of start. Actually, not, that's not true. I did start in the church. Um, yeah, but yeah. It, it, it becomes either a church doesn't, um, allow them, which mm -hmm. yours does, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. But even if a church does allow them, then sometimes you run into space issues because flags right. are big, let's face it. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. so um, you know, you just, you let others do it and I'll, I'll worship somewhere else, even, even so, so. You know, what's helped me as a martial artist. I know, like, I know my space, spatial awareness very well. So when I put my hand out, I know exactly how far my punch is going to go or my kick is going to go. But also, um, you know, because I think it's relevant, but also, I guess in, in just in the fact that um, there was something else I was going to say. <laughs> it, it'll come back to me. It'll just, it'll just come right back around again. <laughs> I, I, I just I just go with it. I just go with it. So. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So can you, so right now, um, something else is going on in your life that you are interceding for. And I know that you're, when you're worshiping, you're interceding. Can you tell us about what it, what else, what else you're, you're interceding for? So I, I'm interceding for, <clears throat> I'm interceding for the one who doesn't have hope. I'm interceding for the one who feels like they're at their wit's end. But I'm also interceding for the one who, who wants to go to a new level with Jesus. Hmm. And maybe it's their ceiling, 
but now their ceiling is going to be their new floor. If, if that makes sense. I mean, and then, um, you know, I, I have, Papa has, has wanted me to start a YouTube channel that I started a couple weeks ago. It's a, still in the process, but he said he wanted me to, to honor my son's name. So I honor his, his name. And that's why I have it. It's, it's called flag of hope. Um, but, uh, any rate, I, I don't, I, I hope I'm answering your question. <laughs> Sure. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so can you, I, I mean, at the end, I'm actually going to, uh, we'll wrap up in a, in a few little, in a few minutes, but uh, I mean, at the end, I usually always want to pray, which I will pray for you, but I'm going to actually ask you to, to bless, um, bless the fire catchers and those that might watch mm -hmm. this as a father's prayer. But before we get to that, I just, um, can you tell us about what, what your wife is dealing with as well? Oh, okay. Well, thank you for asking. She she has um, she has a melanoma right now, and I don't believe that my wife. I'm not going to say my wife has cancer because Jesus defeated that at the cross, and so I believe that the doctor diagnosed her with a melanoma, and they they took a a, a, a sizable portion of of skin from her 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 right leg outside her right outside of her leg and then we are going to find out this Friday to find out if if that actually is cancerous but I just believe that it's not but my and my wife is a prophetic artist she 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 works with she works with seniors that have dementia she is so she is so amazing, Andrea. I can't say enough about my wife. She is so unreal, crazy, amazing, and she just she plays the piano for for the for for the residents, and it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful what she does. And people, I actually I I, I dance over there sometimes too, and I flag with with another one of our dancers. And, and, and the seniors and her, they're just crying. They're like, you're bringing us back to when we danced and stuff like that. So, but you know, my wife is just, she, 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 she's so amazing. And I know that uh, the doctor can diagnose whatever he wants, but I know Jesus diagnosed something different. So I stand on that. So, but she supports me a hundred percent. So, yeah. That's fantastic. So just before when we were chatting, I was telling you about Angel Purdy, one of our fire catchers who right. also dances, who has been, um, is, has, ha, was diagnosed with uh, cervical cancer and she is the moment cancer free. And so we're just believing that that is a full and total healing. And so we're going to be praying um, and interceding for your wife and all cancer. So if you have, a, if you're a fire catcher and you uh, have been told that you have cancer, uh, we're, we're here to tell you that that is not the saying, that's not the C word that we go after. The C word that we submit to is Christ and um, cancer um, submits to Christ and he has already um, healed you. And so if you're watching this, take that as a testimony of, of your healing. And, uh, what I love about the worship flags and just work, um, operating in the spirit that way, it was, it's almost as if for me, I know things that I didn't know before. So when I'm worshiping, it's such a pure form of being in the presence of the Lord that, that, um, Lucifer, who was the angel, um, of worship he cannot stand it when we're worshiping and so he just he doesn't like to be there when it's pure and and just before the lord so um there's so much there's there's so much we can utilize in the presence of the lord when we're worshiping and when you um worship flags are just tools but they are anointed because we are anointed right so so that so um and there's i think we're just learning and discovering 
really what God has to say, because there's a lot more that we don't understand that he's bringing to the forefront. And it's, and it's with um, incredible worshipers like you who are um, taking, even though you've been in it for just a short time, I just feel like I, I already sense that there's so much wisdom that you have, so much faith history uh, that you impart, and then you bring all of that into your worship coupled with I mean I even like that power that power combination of martial arts and worship flags um it's it's the the power and um you know there's the the sweetness the lamb and then the warrior lion like there's yeah. just like that's the two sides of yeah. the Christian life yeah. so I want to see yeah. I want to see thank you is there so you mentioned your, your YouTube channel. We're going to have the link for it um, below the video. Is it, so tell us again what it is, your, what your channel's name is. It's called Flag of Hope. And my wife is the one who came up with the name. Holy Spirit gave her the name to come up with. So, but it's and, still in the process of being built. And because I've never done this before, you know, so. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a whole there's a whole uh, behind the scenes of how to how to actually promote the channel and get people to watch it. Yeah. Good content yeah. can still sometimes be missed because because it's just there's just a lot of noise and so how to cut through that. So I yeah. I um will put that link. We'll get them to subscribe to cha to your channel. What is it that people are going to find on your channel? What kind of information? What are you sharing? Well, I'm sharing about hope. And I'm also sharing about flagging and I'm sharing about that. They go there. They go, they go coincide. They go with each other. There's an ebb and flow of both of them. So I just, you know, I just believe that, that people just, they need hope. Hopeless people, they're, they're not, they're not looking for hope. They're, they're in, in one sense. And I believe that, you know, we're either hope filled or or we're discouraged. You can't be both at the same time. And you know, my son, he 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 has that ultimate hope now because he is with Jesus. And my wife had been able to speak into we have other people that live in my home that from church, we just want to love them. And we say, you just pay us. I'm sorry, you just pay us what it whatever you can afford, it's okay. We love you. And we want you to know that. So, so that's what it's for, Andrea. And it's also just giving people freedom. You know, I have a park next door. I flag over in the park. I carry my flags with me wherever I'm at in the car. And Papa might say, okay, I want you to pull over here. I want you to flag right here. I just obey. So, so it's, it's like a, I'm, I'm looking at it like a two minute thing. So it, it captures people's attention. Like you look at a resume and you just want one side. So that's how I look at it. That's, that's so true. And I think that any fire catchers who carry their flags with them wherever so that they can worship anytime, just hit a like. Cause I know that <laughs> I always got flags in my bag, in my, yeah. in my trunk. Like you never yeah. know. You just never know. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, you never know. I mean, yeah. Can I, can I say something else? We, my wife and I, we got to minister to someone who had stage four, the C word in my house. I'm flagging over her. My wife is interceding for her. And, and then I'm just speaking how much the father it just wants, is holding her heart so gentle like this. Then she finds out one day later that her cancer cells went down 100 points. She finds out three days later the cancer cells went down another, I, I gave this testimony in church, another hundred or so points. And so <laughs> the doctor didn't know what to do, you know, and she just said, well, it, it's Jesus. And so these are the kind of people I will dance over anyone at any time. And my wife and I will pray over anyone at any time because we just, we want to love all of those we want we want to let them know that there's 
there's a helping hand here. It's not this. It's this. This is what Jesus would do. So we're being Jesus with skin on him. I love that. Yeah. So, Roger, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to, uh, like I said, we're going to have your link so that people can follow you uh, and encourage you. You are part of, uh, you're part of our fire catchers group. Oh, yeah. You're um, in and around, just new to us. So I'm going to actually pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. And then I, what I'm going to ask for you, and this is highly, highly unusual. I haven't asked this of anyone else. I'm actually going to ask you to fit, you close this off. And I want you to pray a, a father's blessing over um, over the fire catchers. Okay. So, so I'll pray first and then you pray. So Father, okay. I thank you for Roger and connecting us and what he's doing uh, down in, um, Vancouver, Washington, and, and that you are so much at work there. There is so much supernaturally, just angels are attracted to that area because, because of all the worship that is coming forth for the 12 worshipers that we love Joseph and he's part of that and he is so anointed and there's so much um, just depth, depth of history with you and, and you are so attracted to that that that's where your favor rests. And I pray um, for Roger's wife and that there is like a diagnosis of Christ only on her, that there is no cancer in Jesus name, that she's already been healed. There is nothing on her. We thank you that you um, have eradicated cancer, that there is nothing that stands against the name of the Lord, that there is nothing that the cross did not heal. Um, and so we, we, as fire catchers, as worshipers, we intercede on behalf of all the hurting ones. Just like Roger said, when that he intercedes and he hugs, like he dances um, for them, with them, and um, as you, Father. That's what you, that's, that's what the incredible gift that Rogers, I pray um, a, abundant blessing and financial blessing on you and your wife um, that you will have more than enough, that you will be abundantly um, blessed yourself, but that you would abundantly bless others through all of the finances that the Lord will actually funnel through your hands. I pray for just wisdom in in um, wealth creation um, and as you because you are supporting so many and father just bless Roger bless Roger and his wife and their home be a let it be a place of protection a place of absolute refuge um, and a place of healing that the enemy is afraid to go anywhere near that home because of so much spiritual that there's it is just protected by the angelic lord um thank you in jesus name amen so the father wants you to know that you are you are he he brings you to an oasis in your life an oasis of hope and he he wants you to know all all of you fire catchers that that you are so precious everything that you do in your life is significance it's significant and i just i just think of just how tender the father is how tender the father is to his children he just loves you with such an everlasting love he said i will never leave you son or daughter i will never forsake you and 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 he just says and he comes alongside you kind of like <laughs> kind of like how jesus came alongside my son in that vision <laughs> he comes right alongside you and he he sees you he sees you in your pain he sees you in, in your happiness he sees you Wherever you are at, son or daughter, he sees you where you're at financially. He sees you at where you're at physically. I just declare in the name of Jesus that all trauma is broken off of your life. I declare in the name of Jesus that you, you are such a blessing. When you look in the mirror, the Father, he's looking back at you because that's who I see looking back at you. And he wants you to know that he is so pleased with your life. You don't have to do something else because you have the Father's blessing and you are a blessing. As you touch others, you 
have the anointing of Christ Jesus because your your hands and your feet are anointed by the living God. And and also Andrea, I want to let you know what you do is so amazing. You bless so many thousands of people and I'm just one of them. I'm just speaking out of my heart what you do it inspires thousands and i am going to share this message with so many people because that you are just god is still all over your ministry and and your life and i thank you for what you do i thank you for your family i declare just health in your family and joy prosperity in your ministry in all ways in jesus name amen thank you i i received that thank you very much you're welcome i received that <laughs> what you say? yeah